Hello everybody, I'm Alpaca Patrol, and this is Mindy Vice Grab the Lamb that's running back to another custom challenge run. This run is brought to you by 97 Milo Productions. Uh, it's called the Ultimate Isaac Challenge, and the reason it's called the Ultimate Isaac Challenge is we are sort of an amalgam of every character. So like, for instance, we have four hearts, which is, uh, you know, Maggie's, Maggie's starting health. We have, uh, the lucky foot, like Kane. We have little, or we just have Steven for Judas's damage. We have the dead bird for, uh, Maggie. We have bloody lust for Samson. And of course the poop for Blue Baby. Now, the challenge run says... That, oh god, I'm a big dumb idiot. That's what it says. It says I'm a big dumb idiot. I'm just kidding. Uh, 97 Mile Productions, you know I love you. Um, but, uh, oh god, oh god, I did something terrible. Hold on, I just realized that I had something on, by the way. Which is what I was saying. Anyway, um, yeah, the challenge says that I can't remove the poop until the depths to or later. Now, I don't know if that means that I can take other items. I'm just gonna go ahead and assume that it means I shouldn't take other items. Um, I don't know if that is in that indeed the case. We have a lot of damage, though, Jesus. I, I, I'm surprised that Steven actually gives you as much damage as it, as it does. Uh, but indeed it does. Alright, so... Fantastic. Yeah, look at all the damage we're doing. It's crazy. Crazy pants! Anyway, let's look for the, uh, secret room. Which is indeed here. But before we go into the secret room, let's open up all these poops! Because poops are awesome! Now, one thing I wanted to say was, uh... Oh, well, firstly... The new Magic the Gathering is up on the channel. Ah, uh, but we didn't have any money to play this. I would have played it with any money that I had, but unfortunately, I had no money to play it with. Anyway, um, so uh, yeah, uh, one thing I wanted to say besides Magic the Gathering is up on the channel was uh, that indeed uh, we have ascended. We have gone beyond 10,000 subscribers. And I say we because it was a collaborative effort. It's not. It's not like uh, you know when people thank uh, or. Um, say congratulations to me, I always feel sort of like I'm taking the credit for something that isn't mine. Uh, because I, I think we did this. We, it wasn't, it wasn't just me, obviously. I, I think, uh, I think it was all of us, and, and I wouldn't be here if it weren't for you watching, so, uh, I, I guess I won't take this item, by the way. Uh, and I guess we'll just go down to the next floor. But it, it really is, it's a collaborative, I mean, it's, it, it's, it's, it's not just me. I mean, it's especially a collaborative effort, especially with these challenge runs, considering that I don't really have a, a role in, um, in making them, you guys do. Uh, it's sort of a community experience. I hope so, anyway. I mean, that's sort of that's uh, that was sort of my goal with making it like the most upvoted challenge and all that. Uh, so hopefully, I've achieved that. Um, and yeah, I just I just wanted to say that I love you all. Uh, you are beautiful, beautiful people, and you make my day every single day. Seriously, I love you all. I, it's 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 amazing that. Uh, that we hit this mark, I, I, it really, it really is. I mean, it's just the number, really. Uh, it doesn't really particularly matter, but I don't know. It's just, uh, you know, sometimes you hit those milestones, and sometimes that's pretty darn cool. Uh, you know, sometimes it's kind of cool to uh, remember those milestones and and uh, celebrate those milestones, and and that's 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 one of them. You know, ten thousand is pretty cool. Never did I think that we would be so successful on the YouTube space uh, with this channel. Seriously, I mean, like, I really, it really didn't. I, 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 I am so ever grateful to all of you uh, that I just felt like I wanted to mention that. Um, it wasn't so long ago that uh, our subscriber count was over 9,000! I hope you guys saw that video, by the way, because you should. If you've never seen it, like, if you weren't with the channel when we were at 9,000 subscribers, go back and watch our over 9,000 video, because I still find that to be fucking hilarious. Uh, because I'm a big dumb idiot. Uh, but I find it amazing, so uh, I've personally watched it loads of times because I'm a narcissist. And, uh, that's what narcissists do, by the way. And did you also know, by the way, I want to say, by the way, as many times as possible to make sure it emphasizes the point that this is not part of what I was saying, <laughs> obviously. Um, no, but, uh, the one thing that I wanted to say was, uh, Narcissus is actually where narciss uh, narcissism comes from, or the term narcissism comes from. Uh, Narcissus, who, uh, it's the old, uh, Greek myth of, uh, Narcissus who fell in love with himself, uh, when he stared into his image in a lake. I believe it was a lake, maybe it was like a river or something, who knows? I don't know, Narcissus knows, because he's been stuck looking at his beautiful, beautiful face ever since. Um, but, uh, anyway, that's, that's, that's not particularly important, I just, oh, butts. I just wanted to mention it because it's something interesting to me. Um, so yeah, I don't know, man. It's a it's a beautiful thing. Today, uh, after I'm done with uh, this Isaac video, I have lots and lots of work to do. So I like I I mentioned 
uh, and people were were largely for it, uh, a gaming news segment on the channel, and I just haven't done it yet, I haven't had the time, uh, because of all the different things, come on, because all the different things that have been going on with, like, the Super Marathon stream and, like, all the other stuff, all the other streams and stuff, so uh, I haven't really had the time, but today I'm probably going to work on that, uh, and then uh, hopefully finish that up and, and get that first episode out and see how it works and how, oh god, potentially good or bad it could possibly be. I'm not a very good editor, so I don't know if it uh, is going to be cool uh, or not. I suppose we'll find out. Uh, I can't take that, I suppose. Oh man, I would really love to take the packs. Increase our damage even more, but you know what? Can't take it. I didn't even know I went into the devil room. Uh, so I guess, I mean, we could look for the secret room, but eh. I mean, I guess so. Let's let's see. If it's not in this place, then I don't I don't know where it's gonna be. But I did know where it was gonna be. It was gonna be, excuse me, right here. So yeah, that's something that I want to do. Also, I have like loads of codes for video games uh, because of that fucking marathon stream, man. So I got like lots of uh, entries into the checkout series, plus all the other series that I have going on, man. I mean, like it's it's entirely possible that uh, that we're gonna have potentially three videos a day, or uh, if time allows. I mean, it may be a couple days without Isaac, um, potentially over the course of the week. We'll see! We'll see what happens. And I still have always wanted to bring back the Indie Spotlight series. Maybe that's another series that'll come back soon. I don't know. I don't know, man. I feel like I want to do something for you guys. That's a beautiful time. I don't know what that's going to be. By the way, the new layout is coming. It's rolling out very soon. Um, I believe this uh, coming week is when it's going to be officially on every channel and you have no options anymore so you know keep that in mind uh, and uh, you know we'll see what happens I have a really cool banner that I've been saying that I was gonna fucking show off that I just haven't yet because I'm a big dumb idiot and don't know how to fucking edit videos uh, or just forget to but um, oh god um, so uh, yeah I mean that's 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 really cool Nick made it it's gonna be a fun time. Uh, I'm actually not too opposed to the uh, to the new layout. You know, a, a lot of people, of course, hate it, and I hate it. I didn't like it initially, but uh, honestly, now I, I I can see some good things with it. It seems kind of cool. It seems like it's got its upsides. Uh, obviously, it has some downsides, but it has its upsides as well. I think it's pretty cool. I'll have to figure out how it works, though. I mean, the thing is, I wish you could like preview it before you fucking like just jump in, because I don't want to. I guess I'll probably do it at a nighttime area of time of the night uh, because you know uh, it would be you know less people would be forced into the change or forced into the um, you know uh, watching me kind of fiddle around and try to understand uh, yes I will be playing the violin while changing the layout um, no but uh, you know try to you know uh, you know mess mess around with understanding how it works and how to put up my layout and all that kind of stuff um, oh god so, uh, yeah, so that's the thing. I don't know. Uh, also, butts! I love them. They're a great time. Uh, ooh, we're back to full health. That's pretty nice. I guess I'll open up this poop. Oh, well, I wasted a key, but hey, whatever. Right? I mean, what does it really matter? Let's be honest here. Okay, so I'm gonna... Damn it. I'm gonna be careful, is what I meant to say, or meant to do. Oh, man. I would love the small rock to increase our damage. We would have so much damage right now if it weren't for uh, the fact that we can't take items. But unfortunately, that is indeed the case. Oh, we're gonna definitely boost our power up with uh, with his flies. Does this guy spawn flies? Maybe this uh, maybe this version of uh, oh butts of uh, of Butterbutt Butterbutt McButter Butzer Durzen. That's uh, that's his new name, Butterbutt McButzer Durzen. Uh, it's German, you know, you wouldn't understand unless you spoke German. By the way, there's a lot of German viewers. Uh, there's always been a lot of German viewers. I always found that kind of interesting. I wonder, I wonder why that is. Uh, and I've heard a lot of people, uh, over, over the time that I've had this channel say like, Hey, I learn English from watching your, uh, your series. And I'm, and I'm flattered, but also I feel like a bad role model considering I'm not a particularly uh, a master of the English language especially considering the sentence structure of that sentence that I just formed uh, and the subsequent one to that so you know <laughs> that's part of the reason I bring it up uh, so I don't know if this is the best place to, to learn English maybe it is maybe it's a great place to learn English English maybe it's the best place to learn English because if you learn English from me you learn from the best school is for fools look at me oh fart knockers uh, by the way, uh, <laughs> so I mentioned the Pulp Fiction 
uh, how we did the full dramatic reading of Pulp Fiction. That is up on Red Panda Gamer's channel, which is uh, youtube.com slash Gamer. Oh, butts. Uh, and that's all of Pulp Fiction, where I play uh, Vincent Vega. And Josh is also going to put up uh, all of Star Wars, which features hashtag Mike Bithel, which is pretty cool. I, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty pumped to see that again. And I'll watch that whole damn thing. It's real long, though, I'll tell you that, because we were all running on goddamn fumes, especially at the end. Like, I mean, uh, Ryan, also known as Northern Lion, bows out of it uh, at one point, and he's just like, yeah, I can't do this anymore, guys, I'm sorry. Um, and then I take over his role as Luke Skywalker. Uh, and also of Biggs, uh, is who I was in the, in the actual stream. Oh dear. But you know what? A lot of people actually showed up from the stream, uh, onto the channel. So if you are new, uh, welcome to the cool 10,000 club, man. That's, that's, that's what it really is. Who knows? Maybe, maybe in like, you know, four years, I'll be saying welcome to the YouTube club and I'll be the CEO of YouTube. It's entirely possible, uh, however, extremely unlikely. That'd be hilarious if one day I become the CEO of YouTube. What would what would you do? What would you what would you say? You'd be like, I remember that guy before he was that that big shot running YouTube, making new layout changes. Although seriously, as you know, I'm obviously joking, but seriously, uh, they need some better people to work on designs for YouTube. That said, though, it's totally understandable what they're doing. Um, I don't know if I should explore. I mean, I guess I should. I could get pills, which I just haven't been getting, unfortunately. I haven't been getting any uh, trinkets either. Because the pills, the reason the pills would be great is because uh, they're all going to be good. Or at least neutral. Um, you know, not negative pills at the very least. And uh, that would be great. But unfortunately, that has not been the case. We have not been getting any pills. I don't know what the deal is with that. Hey! See, all you gotta do is just complain at the game. I've always known this to be a true fact. Wow, we got a health up from that pill. That's awesome. Well, we are actually gonna explore now. Uh, especially since this is the caves too, so, you know, we could, uh, theoretically just... breeze through this if we don't have really, really shitty rooms. Although, it's entirely possible that you get really shitty rooms on the cave. That does happen. That is known to occur. Uh, but part of the reason I'm gonna be exploring now is just so that I could get some freaking hearts, man! Because uh, if we get back to full health, then uh, life will be pretty good. Then we're, we're still pretty powerful. I mean, if we were just getting all of the items that we have right now, then uh, this would be a pretty good run. I mean, generally speaking, all the items that the uh, characters get, or start with, are uh, are actually quite good. Um, the only character that we actually isn't really featured here is, uh, is Isaac, I suppose. Because uh, we don't have the D6, but we can start picking up items after uh, after this floor, so, you know good stuff shall abound from that. Hopefully, anyway. I don't really know. It's entirely possible there won't. Maybe maybe bad stuff will abound. Hey, we got a health up heart. We have a health up heart! Whoa! Well, that brings us back to full health. I guess we could just get out of the next floor now, because, I mean, we, we can't really pick up any other items. We could open chests and stuff and get bombs, but, you know, meh. What's the... We got 46 cents. Like, we're gonna be opening... We're gonna be opening up things like... Like, snapping was happening. That's how quickly we were going to be opening up things. How come I can't snap right now? That's weird. My... Can I... I guess I was always better at snapping with my left hand. Mm, that's weird. That's really weird. It, like, hurts to snap. Does that mean that you're, like, really out of shape if it hurts you to snap? It probably does. I wouldn't be surprised if it really did. Um, I mean, that's what it means to me. Uh, oh, shit. Okay, well, luckily we didn't take too much more damage. Fuck this room, though. Alright, we're still good. Uh, it just sucks because they do a full heart of damage when they hit you, uh, is the only thing that's really poopy about it. Anyway, we'll uh, oh, fight some double flies, that's interesting. Luckily we got the Depths and not uh, the Necropolis, because the Necropolis is a piece of garbage. Like, that's probably the hardest floor in the game if you don't count, like, maybe the Cathedral and Shale and stuff, and probably the Chest. Eh, you know, the chest, though, I don't know. I mean, the chest is pretty tough, uh, don't get me wrong. The chest can be a hard time, but, um, I don't know, man. Necropolis can totally own you. I think it's partially because you just don't have as many items by the time you get down to the chest and stuff, or, or, or as when you get down to the chest. So, you know, there's that. I don't know. I don't know. All I know is I want a bunch of pills. That's what I want. If this had actually a jar of pills in it, I'd be pretty excited about it, um, I'm gonna be honest. But now we get to drop the, uh, the poop. If we have something to drop the poop with, we do have the demon baby, which is pretty goddamn awesome. Um, 
which I'm pretty pumped about. Oh, dear. Because Demon Baby... God damn. This room, man. Um, so, uh, yeah, anyway. Demon Baby, pretty darn good item. I fucking love Demon Baby. You know, you guys know that he's probably my favorite familiar. Probably. I mean, I don't know who else you could be. I mean, like, maybe Gish. Maybe. If you had a familiar that could, like, freeze enemies, that'd be cool. I would, uh, I would make him, I would name him my new favorite uh, familiar. But Demon Baby right now, he's like a point defense drone. That'd be really cool if they had that kind of uh, a familiar uh, that worked like a point defense drone. If you don't understand what I mean, what I mean is like, um, like if it worked like, uh, like he has like a cooldown. He has a very low fire rate, say, but every time someone takes a shot at you, uh, you know, oh, we glitched out that poop. That's unfortunate. Um, but every time somebody takes a, damn it, somebody takes a shot at you, uh, then it'll, it'll like, uh, negate the shot. It'll like blow the shot out of the air, uh, like a point defense drone would. Oh, I should have, man. Eh, alright, well. That's fine. We're back to reasonably full health anyway. So, I'm not a big, uh, sad man. Mmm. Butts. That sucks that we immediately took damage. You know what? We're gonna, we're gonna farm his little, uh, his little jumping head dudes because, or the jumping shirt guys. So that we can get some more damage. Uh, you butter butt butter McButterson. By the way, you know the, oh, well, I should save this for the, uh, for the... For the whatchamacallit. The, actually, no, this is old news. It's not going to be in the gaming news segment. Um, but yeah, you know, uh, the guys at Bethesda are working on a... Hey, the devil, that's a great card. Um, the guys at Bethesda are working on a new um, game. Which is pretty cool. They're no longer supporting Skyrim. They're not making new DLC for Skyrim. They got everybody up for the new project. Which I don't know what that means. I mean, it could, it could feasibly mean, one, a new Elder Scrolls game. Which is, I think is unlikely. It could also mean, however, uh, and this is what I think it is, a new Fallout game. I wonder if that does mean that it's going to be a next-gen Fallout game, because if it does, then that would be pretty goddamn awesome. Also, it would be pretty darn cool if it was set in New York City. I'm just saying. I, you know, I'm from New York City. Uh, by the way, someone mentioned asked that last time, but yes, I am indeed from New York City. Um, and, uh, and yes, indeedy, um... Why does he have a why does he have a little support fly? What's the deal with that? And the airline food. Um, no, but uh, I'm from New York City, so I, I'm gonna be honest. I love seeing New York City in any form of media. When it's in a movie, when it's in a game, I just love it. I just love seeing it. It's fantastic to me. That's that's it's really great. Which is sad because it's like featured in any game that's gonna be like a big open world city. A lot of times, it's New York. Um, which. I personally am totally fucking cool with. Like, I don't get tired of running around in New York City. Because the thing is, like, I know all the places in New York City. What if you're like, for instance, here's a weird thing. What well, <laughs> two weird things. First weird thing, being from New York City, I don't know how to drive. I'm 22 years old. I've never I don't have a driver's license. Now that's not necessarily like that's like absolute, right? Like not everyone in New York City doesn't know how to drive. Like, for instance, Dennis knows how to drive and he drives his car all the time. However, you don't actually really need to drive a car. Um, like, you can, but did we, we already explored all those places? Where the hell is the, uh, oh no, we got the, uh, oh yeah, we got everything. We need to go fight this boss. What am I thinking? I was thinking that I have to go to the treasure room, but we got the treasure room, like, immediately, and it was Demon Baby. Anyway, what was I saying? Yeah, so, um, so I, I don't know how to drive in New York City. Uh, the thing is, you don't really need to. You have, a, like, the best subway system ever. Uh, however, it's it's getting rather expensive, and and by best subway system ever, I mean that it really gets you places. Other than that, it's pretty darn bad in that like it smells awful and uh, there's terrible things. However, it is really cool. Like there's there's some really cool stuff that you could find on the subway, uh, like you know uh, people's old sandwiches that they didn't finish or. Uh, you know, scrap parts of metal, stuff like that. No, I'm kidding. The stuff that I really mean to say is that uh, a lot of times there's, like, great musicians and great artists and stuff that just hang out in the subway and, and provide entertainment for people. And it's great. And, you know, a lot of times you'll walk past, like, some, like, amazing dance act or something and be like, man, I really love being from New York City. It's a beautiful, beautiful time. Um, but that's, that, that's the kind of thing that I'm talking about. What's really great, uh, the, and the thing that I was going to mention was be, being from New York City, you kind of know where everything is. I, I, I think it's weird. It, 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 New Yorkers sort of take pride in um, the ability to... Uh, I should use the devil. Well, whatever, I'll use the devil on mom. Um, 
Alright, well, I guess I wasted the key there, even though I didn't actually do that. Ah, uh, secret room could be here, I suppose. Eh, oh well, whatever. Not a big deal. I just wanted to play Judgment. Anyway, um, I think New Yorkers take pride in their abilities to know where everything is in New York. Or especially knowing cool places that maybe other New Yorkers don't know. Eh, I guess, I'm, I mean, I might as well take the ladder. I have really no choice in the matter. Uh, it's not going to help after this floor, though, because there are no more pits after this floor, but that's okay. It'll help in this room, though. I'll tell you that much. Calm the butts on. Ugh. God, I hate masks and hearts. I hate them so much. But, uh, anyway... What I was saying is, yes, they're, they're, New Yorkers do take pride in... Wow, yeah, I'll take Samson's Lock. I don't know if that really stacks with Bloody Lust. It might, might not. Um, but uh, New Yorkers really take pride in, in their ability to understand or, like, know where everything is in the city. Um, so, like, what's really cool about video games is you get to go hang out at those places that you know are cool. Uh, generally speaking, they, they, they've done a pretty good job from time, like, a, a lot of times. It's actually kind of funny playing a game like uh, Grand Theft Auto 4. Which isn't New York City, but it's obviously based on New York City. And it's interesting being able to go through all of the environments and being like, I'm, I know this neighborhood. I mean, it's obviously it's not the same neighborhood, but it's in the same location. Um, and it, it's pretty cool. It's cool stuff. It, 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 and that's a, that's a nice way that they can get away with things. Uh, but I would love to see, like, a real... Oh, god damn it! I'd love to see, like, a, a, an actual, like, true-to-life, complete recreation of New York City... Uh, even if there's, like, no game there, if you could just, like, walk around and hang out with people and stuff, like, that would be cool. Uh, I would, I would be very interested to see that, because, you know, it's an experience, man. There's a bunch of crazy shit that you could do in New York City. There's a bunch of crazy people. It's, it's weird, you know, like, New York City, when you consider it against other cities, it actually isn't that, uh, that populated. Uh, like, for instance, New York City has uh, about 15 million people hanging out here at any given time, right? Which is a lot of people, don't get me wrong. But uh, you consider that, you compare that to, like, uh, Tokyo or something, and that has, like, 100 million people uh, hanging out in the city at any given time. However, here's the thing about New York City. Is that uh, people all hang out in a very small area. So that's, like, 15 million people in about, in about a uh, 15 square mile radius. Uh, so, you know, that's that's a lot of people in a very small amount of space. Yeah, I find it interesting when I went around to other cities like, uh, like say, Los Angeles and stuff, how, uh, you know, I, I never understood the city that never sleeps. I know that that was what New York was called, but I never really understood it because it, I, you know, it just seemed normal to me uh, how New York was. Going to other places... People go to fucking sleep, and they don't, they're not out at night! Like, the, the, the cities are dead at nighttime. Like, uh, in Los Angeles, like, like, when you walk out at night, and it's, and it's nighttime, and it's the dead of night, say it's like, uh, even, you know, before midnight, like 10 p.m. or something, no one's around! Everyone's gone! And it's like, I, I'm not used to it, I'm not used to, like, in New York, there are always people around. It doesn't matter what time of day it is, there's always someone. At least one. I mean, usually one is even something that's a little bit, um, rare. Oh my god. I'm on the poop! Whatever. Hey, that's a health up. That's pretty cool. Uh, there are hearts over there somewhere. Hey, look at this. We got this cool room. Ah, butts. I didn't even notice that guy. I thought he triggered the other way. What the butts hit me? Alright, we're nearly dead. Uh, we are very, very close to being dead, which is bad. Real, real bad. Aw, oh, shit. Alright, we really gotta deal with this room right now. Uh, without dying, because, uh, one more hit and we're dead. Alright, we didn't even get a heart there. That's really bad. That's real, real bad. Alright, we got the PhD. PhD heals you, doesn't it? Uh, only a little bit, but it does heal you. That's good. At the very least, that is good. We have a heal. Of sorts. Uh, which is nice. And we're gonna go back and get that heart. Which I don't remember where the heart is. I don't know if it's accessible or not. It's, it's, entirely, it's entirely possible that it's not actually accessible. 
or also known as inaccessible. Um, I don't know if that is indeed the case. I could have went to the boss horde room and, and saw it was in there, but you know what? I'd rather survive uh, than, uh, than do that, anyway. Uh, so we're pretty good on health right now, actually, which is nice. I don't really have to worry about that. But yeah, I don't know, man. New York's a beautiful city. I don't know what, what kind of sparked me talking about New York City, but it really is a beautiful goddamn city. And uh, I'm super pumped to live here. It's a great time. You guys should all visit New York City. It's real cool. Maybe someday, when, um, if we have become, like, super popular on YouTube, we can organize some sort of, like, a meetup or something. And that'd be cool. That'd be a cool time. Let's get a bunch of people. Uh, do crazy shit. Alright, well, nothing looks like... It doesn't look like we're gonna get anything else. Um, we could theoretically look for the super secret room, but we probably don't have enough bombs to do that. Uh, because it could be in a variety of locations. One of them being here, so I guess I'll just check here. I mean, hey, if it has a bunch of... Nah, no, no such luck. That's fine. Whatever. We'll, uh, we'll just go off and fight the boss. Who is Mom? Uh, I'm playing Jeopardy right now. Who is Mom? That'd be really interesting if they did Jeopardy like a uh, indie game uh, section. I'd own that shit. Anyway. Um, yeah. Sometimes they do a good job. You know what's funny is uh, the one the, the one of the games that did a really great job of recreating New York City was uh, a game that isn't like even very good. Uh, although I loved it, which is uh, True Crime New York City. Um, and the reason that I say it wasn't very good is because it basically wasn't finished. It, like, it, it was, it, it's so, I, I don't think I've ever seen a more buggy game. There were so many fucking glitches in that game, um, that it's kind of absurd. Um, however, it was still tons of fun. It was just, like, overly ambitious and didn't have enough time, and I just wish it did. Which is why I was super excited for Sleeping Dogs when it was still True Crime. I hear it's good, and I own the game, but I just haven't had a chance to play it yet because, I don't know, I've been busy, man. It's hard. It's hard playing games, like, in free time when your, you know, uh, job on the internet is to play games. Because <laughs> you kind of have to do it for that. And whenever you're playing a game out of your free time and not recording it, it's like, mm, I am wasting time that I could be spending recording this or recording something and putting it up on the channel, but, uh, yeah, anyway. Um, but yeah, uh, True Crime New York City did a pretty good job of, uh, recreating New York. A lot of the places weren't, um, as large, uh, as... Oh, man, I'd love to use the pinky eye, unfortunately. That is not gonna be happening. Because we gotta keep the Polaroid going. Okay. We gotta play on our feet here. Oh, butts. That sucks. Because, uh, shit is getting super real. I really wish we had gotten more pills. Because, like, without items, I, you know, you would figure that, alright, well, I mean, if we get pills, then we'll be good, because, you know, we have Lucky Foot. That's always kind of the upside to Kane is that it's like, well, I mean, you have two chances to get powerful, and one of them... Motherfucker! I really, I really hate when things just spawn on top of you. Because there's nothing I could have done about that. Like, there was no, there was no way that I could have not taken damage there. It was just uh, unlucky. And, uh, that's, that's shitty. That's, that's really shitty. I would love it to be based primarily on my own skill. I mean, it is still primarily on my own skill, but I mean, you know, I just hate enemies or rooms that force you to take damage. It's always the worst. Anyway. Whatever, that doesn't matter. Uh, I'm gonna... Shit, they're double vaginas. I forgot about the double vagina-ness of these double vaginas. Oh, God, we're still good. Okay. Anyway. Um, yeah. A True Crime New York City. Pretty cool game. It really is actually really fun. They're like... There's some crazy shit you do. You, like, blow people up and, um... And also, uh, eat a big old butt. No, you could, um blow people up, uh, and then use their limbs to beat up other people. It's pretty fun, man. Pretty fun. Alright, we get back to, well, not full health, but we're near full health, which is pretty good. I can live with near full health. Ah, we got Teratoma. Interesting. Well, we're gonna get more damage as, uh, as we fight this boss, which is pretty nice. Because every split actually counts as a kill, which is nice. Um, but, uh, yeah, so that's that's always fun. By the way, this weekend I should be on uh, Phil Collar. Phil Collar, by the way, in case you didn't know, is, uh, you know, semi-famous to probably famous 
uh, gaming journalist, gaming press. He uh, used to work at Game Informer. Actually, he used, used to follow him a lot at Game Informer. Um, and uh, now he works over at Polygon, which is like a super group of like gaming news ites, as it were. Like Brian Crescenti runs it, which he used to be the uh, the lead writer at uh, Kotaku back when it was actually a pretty good website. Um, and, uh, yeah, the Brian Crescenti is, like, the lead editor there, or the, the, you know, editor-in-chief, or whatever it's called. Um, and, uh, yeah, and, and Phil Collar writes for them. And anyway, he's doing a, a charity stream for, uh, the Boston, uh, the events at Boston. Uh, this weekend, and I should be on at some point, which is pretty cool. Uh, hanging out with Ohm, actually. Ohm Wrecker, also known as the Masked Gamer, because he's a nice dude. Oh, God. Uh, he is actually a really nice dude, by the way. In case you guys don't know Ohm Wrecker. And he has, like, all the connections. He's the, he's the guy who got PewDiePie on, uh, on Josh's stupid drunk, like, marathon stream. Alright, well, let's go in here. It's, it's in poor form to, to not play these when you have all this money. It really is. Ah, wow, we got, oh man, I forgot we have the lucky foot, which is awesome. I suppose I could have seen what that was before, uh... I, find, I found out. Now we got bad gas again, or whatever. Uh, because we have the PhD, but it's not that big of a deal. Even if we get bombs with key, you know, not that big of a deal. Hey, we got a pretty fly. All right, it's definitely it would definitely have been in poor form if we hadn't played this because the lucky foot makes this randomness uh, amazing. So I guess we'll be playing all our money into this uh, until they blow up or anything like that, probably. I mean, just hopefully to get enough uh, health to survive. I, like, that's my main goal, is to get back to full health, and if we could do that, then I'll probably get on out of here. Most likely. Eh, we're pretty, actually, we're, we're pretty much at full health at this point. Um, getting another pretty fly would be good, getting the poop helmet would be good, but uh, let, let's play it one more time and see what we can get. We got a health up! Wow, alright, so we're not at full health anymore. Alright, never mind, I'm going to play all my money. I know that this isn't particularly interesting. I used to actually cut these out of uh, <clears throat> of the footage, where I would just be like, uh, you know, uh, where I would just be playing slot machines. But uh, you know, people people always got angry with me, and they wanted me to keep it in, so I kept it in. I keep it in now. I don't know if uh, that is still the case. Maybe it's not. I mean, that was way back in the day, also. So you know, that is a factor as well. Okay, we got some more money, which is nice. We can play this some more. Fantastic. That is always a great time. Is that the poop helmet? Please give me the poop helmet. No. Oh. I really want that helmet made of poop. Oh, also, by the way, people... Someone was saying that, uh, you know, I should call this room that thing, or that room this thing. Uh, I call things in this game what I call them. Oh, god damn it, we got all that money. Um, I call them what I want to call them, and the reason for that is because uh, there's not really official names for anything except for, you know, some of the enemies, or most of the enemies. So, it it's sort of silly to expect me to call it by some name that you think is good, if that makes sense. You know what I'm saying? Because, uh, like, for instance, someone, I, I think they, they were saying that, like, yeah, you should call the, what would I call the sacrifice room the curse room or something? And it's like, unless Edmund McMillan specifically said it, it's not necessarily called that. I mean, that might be just, like, what another YouTuber calls it or what, uh, let's say the Binding of Isaac Wiki calls it, but, I mean, that's just their own names, too. Um, so, you know, it's kind of, oh, boy. Oh, dear. <clears throat> okay, well... Oh, we're out of money. Okay, that's good. However, we're gonna get a buttload more money right now. I'm kind of trying to get a blood bank, if we can. Uh, well, I guess we'll play this a little bit more. I don't know when I want to stop doing this. Probably soon here. Probably another 30 seconds is what I'll give it. I'll give it another 30 seconds. And if we get anything amazing, like a health up or something. And we are out of here! Eh, whatever. We'll get back to full health. Oh, please don't give me any coins. 
Uh, Alright, I'm done. That's good. I'm fine. I'm fine. I don't need to do this anymore. Alright, well, that's a uh, glitched out poop. Demon baby, if you would. Thank you. And now I shall defeat this Guts Brain. Which is fantastic. Because Guts Brains are always good to defeat. In my personal opinion. Alright, what do we got here? Can we open up this poop? No, the poop keeps glitching out, man. I don't know what the deal is with that. Keep getting glitch poops. Which are the worst kind of poops? Have you ever taken a poop and it's a glitch poop? It's worst poop? Worst poop, man. I mean... Oh! Fart double vaginas. You know... Oh, fart double vaginas. I always wanted to make a series that was just like... Things you would never say without video games. Like, for instance, fucking turtles. I don't know any other situation besides playing Mario Brothers in which you would ever have to use the term fucking turtles. Uh, unless... Unless you're into bestiality, I suppose. I mean, you know, maybe maybe you were just saying, I shall be fucking turtles. Um, I don't know how one would fuck a turtle. Uh, I don't think anyone would be particularly interested in fucking a turtle. However, you know, the internet exists, and I'm sure it exists somewhere. Um, I don't I don't want it to exist, I'll say that. Um, but uh, I'm, I'm a realist. I'll say, uh, and and I, I know that uh, that it's entirely possible that it's happened before. I mean, let's be honest here. I'm, I'm. It's probably the case whether or not there's a video of it, which there. Let's be honest, there probably is. Um, but whether or not there's a video of it, it's probably happened. Come on. Okay. Well, I'm stuck in here. Yep. Can't leave. Good. All right. Let's see what this pill is. Well, I could go back to the arcade, but. Uh, I feel like that's a bad idea. Come on, pill. Range up. Range up? Why is that a range up? We already had a range up. Whatever. Let's go fight Mom's heart. I could go back and play the arcade some more, but you know what? We've done that enough. We did that for like literally five minutes, so I think uh, I think we're good on that front for right now. Man's got to do what a man's got to do to survive, man. <coughs> Excuse me. And if a man's gotta do what a man's gotta do to survive, oh, butts, I can't believe we actually took damage there, because I'm a big dumb idiot. I would have been able to dodge that had, uh, had I not moved him with my bullets. But unfortunately, that is a thing that did happen. Okay, please be the knights. Yeah, knights. Okay, now we don't have to use any bombs anymore. Or at least for a long period of time. Um, which is nice. We're actually not doing all that much damage, which is unfortunate. We could be after this fight. I, I, I think uh, Bloody Lust does have a damage ceiling, however, so I, I, we probably have reached that deal damage ceiling already. Uh, have we attained? Yes, we have. Alright, fantastic. Oh, that was a close call. That was a close call. Luckily, Mom's heart is a big old butt. All right, success, and uh, we gained a little bit of extra health as well. But now we're going up to the cathedral, or cathedral, as I like to call it. Uh, and I suppose we might as well. Well, okay. This is all a bunch of dangerous situations that I just fuck and I took damage. Ah, but we got a health up out of it, so. You know, upsides and downsides. Anyway, let's uh, let's jump right to Isaac and see if we can beat him. Because I mean, you know, uh, I don't think we're gonna gain health by exploring the cathedral. I'll be honest; I highly doubt that's gonna be the case. So we'll see what happens here. Hopefully, I can defeat uh, Isaac. I don't know, uh, but I've been wrong before. We're not doing very much damage, unfortunately. Ah, oh, but. I wonder if I can just, uh, like, form a wall of poop so that he can't hurt me. I don't know if that's a thing that's going to be possible. No, it doesn't look like it. Because we have to fire through the poop as well, I suppose, so, you know, that's another factor. We're doing lots of damage to him, actually, now that I think about it. What the hell is going on? Why, why is he not changing phases? He should have been in phase two by now. I have no idea what's going on here. I guess I'm not going to complain about it, though. How is he taking so much damage? I wasn't paying attention to that, but this is pretty crazy. 
Dead bird, please. Dead bird, please. You have to fucking walk dead bird into him, man. It's the worst. It's the worst, because he's the worst item in the game. Or one of the worst items. Dead bird sucks. It's like worse than Meat Boy. Oh, come on. Alright, well. Oh, I walked into him. I can't believe that. I walked into him because I was trying to plant a bomb. Alright, well, I tried. I, we got pretty close, surprisingly. I don't know what happened with it. He kind of glitched out as well, which is a little bit weird. I don't know what the deal is with that. Anyway, uh, we tried our best, and we almost succeeded. So, you know, that's always good. If it wasn't for that lust room, actually, we might have been able to win that fight. Because uh, we didn't take... Like, we only took, what, one damage on... Uh, on Mom's heart, so it's entirely possible that uh, we would have had basically full health on that. And uh, with, mm, what is it, like three, four extra hearts? Maybe five extra hearts? Then we probably would have uh, been able to defeat Luke, uh, Isaac at least. But who knows? Whatever. Anyway, hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Thank you for being around, for sticking around, for having a fun time, for being one of the uh, 10,000 that are here. It's pretty crazy. I mean, it doesn't feel like that long ago that I made my uh, 100 subscribers video, which is still up on the channel, by the way. Um, yeah, it doesn't feel like it's been that long since that. And, uh, you know, I just want to say thank you. I want to say thank you for uh, sticking around this long. Now, I'm going to try to hopefully reward you by uh, doing this gaming news thing. Uh, and try to, you know, get it out in, ex in an expedient fashion. Hopefully. Hopefully by tomorrow. I don't know when exactly it actually would go up on the channel, to be honest. Because I would have to, you know, I have to kind of set in stone when, when it's going to come out. If it's going to be a weekly thing. But I suppose we'll see. I mean, I'll see how long it takes. I mean, if it takes upwards of three hours, then I don't know. I don't know if it would be... It probably will take upwards of three hours. I don't know. We'll see what happens. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. I love you all. I really do. Hearts for everybody. Um... And, uh, hopefully you enjoyed that magic, uh, episode and magic series and all that, too. Um, so yeah. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Post your custom challenge runs down below. I'll do the most upvoted one. This was indeed the most upvoted one. So hopefully, uh, we shall upvote even more in the future. This is Alpaca Patrol signing out. Peace, fools.